Now, more of Illinois Rising, presented by the Illinois Opportunity Project, the only show directly addressing the problems and solutions for Illinois. Now, from AM560, here's Dan Proft. Dan, back with Pat on this edition of Illinois Rising, talking about uh, Rahm's departure and what that has opened up in terms of the run for mayor in 2019, the campaign for mayor in 2019. Uh, But just before we get to thinking prospectively, some of the reactions from uh, uh, to Rahm, this statement caught my eye. Bill Brady, who is the uh, Senate super minority leader, a Republican. I want to thank Mayor Rahm Emanuel for his service to the residents of Chicago and for his decades of public service as a whole. I wish him nothing but the best as he begins the next chapter in what's already been an amazing journey. Is that um, being gracious and postpartisan, or is that uh, being a prevaricating combine wannabe? It's 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 definitely not the first one. I, I can tell you that. Look, there, there's absolutely no reason to put forth a statement like that, particularly the way that it's worded. Um, you can just skip it. Just skip it. He's leaving. Skip it. Focus on the fact that you don't have enough members in the Senate. We've got to put better people in there. We've got some good candidates this time around. Spend your time on that. I, I don't even know what the purpose of a statement. And I like Bill. I don't know what the purpose of a statement like that is. Well, um, yeah. Uh, I mean, I know they like Ron, Tiny Dancer. I mean, I remember uh, when dearly, uh, dearly departed Ron Sandak, whose political career ended. Uh, on a computer screen. I, I would say um, by his own hands. Uh, he, uh, you know, they, they did the smile gag uh, picture with uh, Ron when they all went down on the field trip to visit City Hall. Wasn't that fun? It just shows it's a thing when they but but I mean, I, I know they like him. I mean, they agreed to a 17 billion dollar payout out of the Chicago public school system. And I, I love Chicago, too. That's why I'm a resident there. Uh, but uh, this idea that Rom has provided, quote, decades of public service, service to the residents of Chicago. It, it's so self-regarding because that's how they see themselves. Uh, totally. And uh, it is completely absent of work product, right? That is not a consideration for the, you know, backslapping and uh, professional courtesy bull jive that comes from a surrender Republican Party. Bill Brady is pathetic. He is weak. Jim Durkin is a buffoon. He is weak. They are part of the problem. They are part of the reason that we have. We had no center right candidate four years ago. We have no center right candidate now, even with this wide open landscape, even amid all of the destruction wrought by Chicago Democrats, where there's an opportunity uh, to address a appetite for something different because you can't take on the other side when there is no other side. And isn't that the case in Chicago and Illinois? Yeah. You know, you touched on something that's, I think, really endemic, and, and I don't know how we're ever going to get over this, because you saw it this week in the Kavanaugh hearings. You saw it, frankly, I'm a lot of people criticize me for this. I saw it at the McCain funeral, where there's this just giant self-regard, like the entire operation of politics is for us to tell each other, whether we're enemies or not, how good we are, what our relationship is, how we get along. If I lie about you, you'll lie about me. And it's so deceitful and it, and, it, and it's so self-regarding and, and frankly the older I get the more tired of it that I become when I start to realize the impact that these people have on the lives of of, of the people that are supposed to serve and this statement by Brady just kind of reflects that same thing I have to tell you the the over-the-top love from people in this state for John McCain reflects that sort of thing and so that, to me, is, is, is a huge structural problem, not just in our state or in the city, but just generally in our politics. Well, the other thing, too, at the, at the federal level, it's different because uh, the whole the, the, the McCain service on the political side. I'm not talking about John McCain, the war hero, the American hero. I'm talking totally. about on the political side and how it was handled. I'm not even really talking about McCain. All the people who painted this false picture 
of an era where we didn't have partisan politics. Oh, meanwhile, by the way, that lasted for the McCain funeral service because then they were sending funded protesters in to disrupt the Kavanaugh hearing. And Elizabeth Warren was back to saying a Brett Kavanaugh confirmation means the end of Western civilization. And Kamala Harris wouldn't let Chuck Grassley get a word out edgewise at the opening of the hearing. I mean, it is such a, a lie it's fraud it's it's and, it's it's a it's a and, repeated fraud right but so th- there's real partisan divide there in this state though the difference is there really isn't because bill brady and jim durkin are happy to be junior partners to the combine happy to do the bidding of institutional interest in springfield and chicago yeah and, and that's true that's true structurally because of their positions and, and of course that's how people see it but you know, there are lots of people in public office here who aren't that way and who are trying to fight against that. And there's more people trying to be in public office that aren't that way and are, are going to try to go against that. And coming into the November elections, I'm hoping that this there's a change with that type of attitude that you're referencing. Yeah. And uh, the reason you want to call it out is because you want people to know don't emulate these guys. Stop it already. You want a clean break from the last 100 years in Chicago? We need a clean break from the last 40 years in Republican Party politics here.